Hello everyone and welcome to this week's healing session. Today we're going to be working on the Divine Masculine Energy. Since last week we have worked on the Divine Feminine. We're going to continue with the next one. Again here just like the Divine Feminine Energy. We both carry both energies inside of ourselves and we need to learn how to keep the perfect balance between them as well as work on our wounded energy so it does not get in between us and our life, especially in our relationships. So today we're going to focus first a little bit on some of the wounded aspects. Then we're going to take that energy, transmute it into a more empowered version. If you really like this video, I'm going to upload a part 2 on my Patreon and my YouTube membership. Since there's so many different aspects of this where we can be working on, but I picked the most, um, I wouldn't say popular ones, but the most common themes we see in our day-to-day -day lives when encountering a wounded divine masculine energy. So you can check either my Patreon or my YouTube membership if you want to see more. If you want to take your healing to the next step and deepen that, I offer one-on-one -on -one services for Reiki as well. And I do tarot readings for those that prefer a little bit more of a guidance. I do also have on my shop two products that you can use individually on your healing journey. I have a guided meditation for healing your body and mind and an ebook with a bunch of shadow work prompts to work your way through different topics where you might find yourself blocked off a little bit with your emotions. Starting off with the first intention for the wounded masculine energy is emotionally unavailable and here I just want to swoop that away out of your energy. In a way kind of like brushing through it. I think like this might be the most commonly heard of when thinking about the wounded divine masculine that they in a way can't commit as well as they can't relate emotionally to you on a specific level because they don't even allow themselves to feel their own emotions let alone how are they supposed to relate to you communicating your emotions, right? So we're just gonna be swiping that away really gently. This is a really good stepping stone for the next intention where we're going to do a cord cutting. We're going to go into an even deeper cleansing part. to be working here on removing the overly competitive side or you just feel like you need to constantly compare yourself to the other person but in a sense of I'm better I'm so much better you know in a way also like you have to prove yourself
you don't have to prove yourself in a sense of being validated by being the best of the best maybe you had to work for attention compete for attention maybe for some people it can come through in that aspect that experience in the past Just removed and going deeper with a second cord cutting session just to make sure we have everything out of the way. Brushing everything away and then we will be moving on to the last intention of the divine masculine energy in the wounded aspect. This intention speaks about the aggressiveness, not necessarily Meaning that, um, how can I say this, trigger warning here, um, being physically aggressive, just like an overall, just a really extremely strong personality where it just comes off across as aggressive. The point would be that they think they come off as bold and stuff like that, but actually the personality then seems scary in a way. So they kind of like mix it up and we're going to soothe that part with the rose quartz allowing a little bit more of a gentler side to come in um, to kind of like bring down that aggressiveness. The aggressiveness also can sometimes come as a way of maybe own a position or a status even as in saying like I'm here and no one can take me away from here um, goes back into the overly competitiveness as well that um, these two can go hand in hand together where being a little bit competitive is okay I mean it brings us forward in life a little bit but some people just overdo it then and then they take it too seriously especially um, best case scenario I can bring on here is I used to have someone in my hairdresser school <laughs> that acted more on her masculine energy but um, reflecting back at it she acted on a wounded masculine energy which her competitiveness in sports was so bad like she would get so annoyed when her team would lose and it's just a game it's something so superficial but she took it so seriously as if her life would depend on it and that's where like that overly competitiveness and also the aggressiveness 
can go hand in hand real quick and just kind of like override everything else so I'm babbling a little bit here but we're gonna use this rose quartz and I just kind of want to line the chakras a little bit here so I'm making sure that nothing is out of balance and that each chakra can support one of the other in case that aggressiveness shows up too much And spreading the energy from the rose quartz through the body to help you keep a state of calm being and it's easy for you to stay in the grounded energy I'm going to repeat this one more time before we move on to the empowered version of the Divine Masculine. This carnelian is going to help us feel really secure within ourselves. We're going to be brushing this over your body. The energy of the carnelian can increase our confidence which allows us then to feel really secure with our, in ourselves, not second guess and doubt our behavior, our thoughts, the way we appear in front of others. over your sacral chakra with the carnelian as well to balance the energy there the sacral chakra is the one that helps us connect a little bit with our emotions it's not as strong as the heart chakra regarding the emotions but it's kind of like a start already And a little bit going down into the root chakra as well because the carnelian can also be used for the root chakra which is our foundation of the self, the first one of 
how secure do you feel within yourself but also your life working on both of those chakras so they work well together and this is a little bit of a preparation for our next intention which is being held accountable or just being accountable in general so we're gonna start raising that energy Sometimes it's easy for other people to hold us accountable, but we have to hold ourselves accountable anyways because not always will there be a person to say, hey, that behavior was not it. We gotta be grown enough to admit to ourselves like, that was not good. That behavior was not good. I need to do better the next time. And in order for that, we have to have the perspective to even realize what we just did. So I'm just raising that for you. It has something to do with practice. won't be able to do it perfectly overnight, obviously. But we're kind of like taking the first big step here. Going to be warming up the energy here a little bit as well to bring that um, gentle but also kind of like um, focused energy into it of keeping track of the way you behave, certain thought patterns, speaking patterns with other people, everything that might have. The need for your attention or how you interact with your reality. The last one is respect boundaries and we're gonna use a black obsidian here. So when someone puts a boundary down to you, you're gonna respect it. At first, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable and a part of you might be like, why, why should I even accept this? Like, I don't see a reason why to, but you would want your boundaries to be respected as well, right? So we're going to practice that. There's nothing worse when you set a boundary and someone disrespects it. It's not cool. <laughs> I've had that experience in the past few times and especially coming from a masculine person where you just feel like am I talking to a wall or why did that person not understand this clear boundary right now so we want to do better as well right so we're gonna have to put the effort into respecting other people's boundaries as well Especially if we're not used to it and it's a form of practice but also a deeper sense of connection I would say when you can be comfortable enough and your connections are saying like hey this is not it you know and being able to take that instead of like being really triggered by it and taking it as something personal then realizing okay they don't want me to do that anymore or speak about this or behave a certain way you respect that and from there on you have a different path to work on okay maybe it's something you need to change 
or it's just something that you simply have to learn to adapt and accept it. Gonna put the stone in between your feet. Just put the stone in between your feet. I'm gonna take that energy and make sure you're grounded enough to not be set off by someone else setting a boundary. You don't feel threatened, you don't feel triggered by it. It's simply, it's simply something that they said and you come to terms with it. Dragging that down to your feet. A are of love to finish this off. Now you're nice and ready to go with your empowered divine masculine energy. I hope you enjoyed this session and I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, goodbye everyone.